like that. But can you just imagine, I was selling him out for a motorcycle for the sins that I have done wrong. But here we have Joseph who had done nothing wrong, but he was simply doing what he knew that he could do. He was simply sharing his dreams. He was simply living the life that his father had set him up. He was simply enjoying the coat that was given to him. And suddenly, his brother decides to sell him out. It won't take me too long if I just started talking with some of you one-on-one, -on -one, that some of you will start sharing that there is somebody in your life who has sold you out. It could be the very best friend that you had at the beginning of this school year. It could be the very teacher who you confided in, and now they're using that information against you. It happens. Or it could be the very parent who told you, if you only go to school, I'm going to help you with your tuition. Come to find out that money is no longer available for your tuition. Or it could be a brother, a sister, who said, oh, you can trust me. You can tell me your secret. And this brother, this sister uses that very same secret to work against you so they could gain. Somebody here has been sold out. Somebody here realizes the kind of pain that goes on when somebody you trust has sold you out. I don't know your story. Hopefully, I'll hear some of your stories. But one day, somebody here had been hurt because they have been sold out. If this is you, and if the pianist can start playing because I'm closing here, if this is you, and you've been sold out, and you've been hurt before, and you're having a difficult time trusting a God who you have not seen, trusting a God who you have not experienced yet, and yet you've experienced the kind of hurt and pain that only you who have been sold out can experience, I want you to hear me. I have a friend. His name is Jesus. There is a God in heaven who cares and loves, especially you who are hurting right now. If this is you, I want you to be assured that God cares and loves even you. As the praise team comes forward and about to sing this dedication song, I want everybody to please bow their heads, and close their eyes. Everybody, I want you all to just bow your heads and close your eyes. Bow your heads. Close your eyes. Bow your heads. Yes, you. Bow your heads and close your eyes, please. All of you. Somebody here this afternoon woke up today wondering why they're still in this earth. Because the pain is just too heavy to bear. And the struggle is just too tough to go through. And so you continue to close your eyes. You continue to bow your heads. Don't look around. Just close your eyes. Bow your heads. If this is you right now, feeling the hurt and the pain and the suffering of being sold out, I want you to stand up for Jesus. Everybody else, just close your eyes. But if you're feeling that pain, you're feeling that hurt that you've been sold out, and you're in a place like Joseph, where your robes of multiple colors have been stripped down, and you've been thrown into this pit, and it's really dark and lonely down there, and you feel so alone and in need of a Savior, I want you to just stand up from the chair where you're sitting right now. Don't look around. I want you to just stand up if it's you. Don't look around. Yes, God bless you, my sister. 
If this is you just feeling, thank you, my brother, my sister back there. God sees you. Close your eyes, guys. Keep your heads bowed down because this moment is between you and God. Please do not open your eyes. Please keep your heads bowed because I want these individuals who are really standing to know that it's between them and God, not between who can see them or who cannot see them. I want them to feel that God is right here, is close to them. Thank you, brother. Thank you, my sister, for standing up. Thank you. I see you standing up. God sees you standing up. Sir, do not look back, sir. Sir, please close your eyes, bow your heads. Do not look back. This is a moment between you and God. Thank you. Please do not do that. Because these people who are standing right now, they're really in pain. They're really hurt. They're really in need of the Savior. And if this message is just for this special individual, I'm going to lift them up to God right now. So those of you who have stand up, thank you for standing up. You may sit down now. And my prayer is that God in your heart would just touch it, would just feel it, would just make you feel that He cares for you. You may be seated right now. Thank you. You can sit down. And so as a theme, uh, as a praise and worship team, or as these folks down here sing this song, I want you to med meditate upon the words of God and how He cares and loves you. How does kindness attitude of complete forgiveness become cultivated in the hearts of one so wickedly cheated there is no God of compassion is here with the land of our affliction, and he calls us to forget at last, and the brutals from the bitterness of the
Keep playing. Thank you for that song. There's a better place set for you by God. And as we close this afternoon's program, and you need to recommit your life to Christ, and you just want to have a prayer session with me and with the pastor of this academy, after the program, I'm going to spend some time here at the front. Matter of fact, we'll spend some time here by the steps. And if you want just some prayer for you, to go over you, come down after the program and we'll meet our Father who has promised that when we choose Him, it's all good. She will all rise for prayer. Our God, as we close this afternoon, as we make it to the end of the day, we are grateful for it is only you who give us life. Lord, there are individuals in this congregation right now, whether they're students, their faculty, or their staff, and they've recently just experienced being sold out. In the pain of being in the deepest part of the pit, and the pain of feeling that betrayal is so heavy for them right now to carry, and it seems like they just can't make it to the next day. And so for them, Lord, I ask that you would just come alongside, that you would lift them up. And just like story of Joseph reminds us today, regardless of what we go through, if we only trust in you, you will provide. Oh God, thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for already loving us. Thank you for already providing the healing. Thank you for already taking us from the deepest part of the pit and the deep, darkest part of our, or our experience and help us to heal from being sold out. And may the test that we go through turn into a testimony for your glory and your honor because I ask all these things in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. You may be seated. Thank you. 